kutoka waziri wa hazina ya kitaifa profesa Njuguna Ndungu ametoa hakikisho kuwa taifa limejinasua kiuchumi na kuahidi kwamba gharama ya maisha itaanza kuimarika kwa kiasi kikubwa katika siku ya pili ya kongamano la mawaziri mjini Naivasha serikali kuu pia imedokeza kwamba mzigo wa kiuchumi umeanza kuwa mwepesi baada ya malipo ya baadhi ya madeni ya kimataifa mwana habari wetu Steven Leto ana taarifa hiyo kwa kina ya uchumi wa taifa kupigwa na mawimbi tangu serikali ya Kenya kwanza kuchukua uongozi hatimaye mwenge wa matumaini unaonekana kuangaza serikali kuu hii leo imejitokeza kimasomaso na kutoa hakikisho kwa uchumi umeanza kusimama tisti we can see that uh, the nominal exchange rate is declining it offers some relief to domestic prices and the pass through effect to domestic prices that for us is very very important because low inflation is actually consistent with high growth and then that is also going to to show exactly what is likely to happen with with interest rates waziri wa fedha professor njuguna ndungu amesema kuwa kikapu cha kitaifa sasa kina matunda akiwapongeza wa Kenya kwa kuwa wavumilivu for those of you who have been watching the market you have seen how much we managed to raise in the infrastructure bond that is a signal that everybody has seen that we have we are resolving one uh, the constraints one by one and we are going to lock ourselves into a high vibrancy growth that is why you found the success in terms of um, the infrastructure board was actually uh, significant and is even reflective of the future tulikuwa changamoto ya deni na mnaona vile waziri anafanya wiki iliyopita aliweza kulipa madeni yetu umeona kulipa tu madeni shilingi yetu ambao tulikuwa tunapigiwa duru eh sababu shilingi imedhoofika ime na sijasikia nyinyi mkitusherekea kwa mujibu wa profesa Njuguna sasa taifa limepata uboreshaji wa uchumi kwa asilimia tano nukta sita. there is strong evidence to show that economic recovery is with us and that starts from the last quarter of, of uh, 2023 and i did actually try to mention in in area in area meetings that uh, we have a growth of 5.6% in that quarter ya katika kuota ya mwisho ya mwaka uliopita uchumi yetu ikapanuka ika, ika kwa tano nukta sita. na katika hiyo kukupanuka kilimo agriculture ambao mwaka ambao ulikuwa hapo mbeleni ilikuwa imeenda chini kwa eh, asilimia moja nukta moja ikaweza kupanuka kwa asilimia sita nukta saba. hiyo yote haiwezi kufanyika eh, kwa bahati ni kwa sababu ya ile mikakati ambao sisi tuliweza kuweka changamoto ambalo limekuwa likikaba uchumi koo la madeni sasa si tishio kulingana na mawaziri even in the management of debt they have now made sure that there will be no time that Kenya will be expected to pay 2 billion dollars in one go. Kongamano litaendelea hapo kesho. Huku serikali ya kitaifa ikitoa hakikisho kuwa uchumi umeboreshwa. Kinachosalia sasa ni ukarabati wa bajeti ya mwaka 2024-2025 kuhakikisha kwamba miradi yote 181 imepewa pesa ya kutosha. Stephen Letoro Ninga ya Citizen County Nakuru.